ti dica che stavamo a posto. Fate conto che con gli straordinari... At the end of the Second World War, Italy was a traumatized country, racked by poverty and political turmoil. And Italian filmmakers responded to these conditions by inventing a new and vital style of filmmaking. It was called neorealism. It involved the use of non-professional actors, real-life locations, documentary footage, and it told simple stories about the harshness of life. One of the masterpieces of neorealism is The Bicycle Thief, directed by Vittorio De Sica. It's 60 years old, but somehow this film seems more relevant, more powerful, maybe more real than ever. The Bicycle Thief tells the story of Antonio Ricci, a poor man living in Rome, played in what is really an extraordinary performance by Lamberto Maggiorani, who is not a trained actor, but a steel worker, and who brought his son along into the film to play Antonio's son, Bruno. At the beginning of the film, Antonio finds a job, not an easy thing to find in Rome in those days. The only requirement is that he has to have a bicycle. And on the very first day of work, the bicycle is stolen. And so he and Bruno travel through the city, trying to get it back. Fermatelo! The city of Rome plays a very important role in this film, not the picture postcard tourist Rome, but a harsh, strange, unsettling place. One of the things that neorealism does, and that De Sica is brilliant at, is taking you on a tour of this city and showing, in very simple scenes, how a whole society works. <laughs> This society seems organized almost as a conspiracy to strip its members, in particular its poorest citizens, of their very dignity. The story that The Bicycle Thief tells is simple and stark, and it's one that I think connects with what a lot of people are going through right now. A man needs a job. And yet even this modest dream eludes him. But the interesting thing is that this movie, while it's very, very sad, does not leave you with a sense of depression or despair. It leaves you somehow fulfilled, because even though Antonio has lost everything, he still managed to hold on to his humanity.